Hey, hey, so this is Susie with um, On Purpose with Purpose, and we're talking about designing your decisions. And in this mastermind, um, talking about like what what I thought of, what was brought to my memory was um, I have a friend that always gets pretty much every single thing that she intends to done, like everything. And she has lists super long every day. And I am not that type of person. Like I, I squirrel so easily. I go all around and all about and in and out and all of that. And, um, so I asked her one time, I was like, I was like, how do you do this? How do you get everything done that you intend to? And she said, I always start with what I don't want to do first. Mm. Always. She's like, I start with what I don't want to do because then I have the most energy for it. And then I have, and then I can enjoy the things that I really want to do because then that brings energy too. Like when you're enjoying something, then you naturally have the endorphins and all the other things going on. She's like, so it's a rule. Like she has a rule that she will always start with the things that she doesn't want to do first. And I'm like, at first I was like, ew. (laughs) But then I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Because then you have the most energy and then you actually get things done. So So in my work, they talk about, sorry, are we ready to talk about this? Yeah, I was going to say, so what do you guys think? What, how does that sit with you? Um, I, I agree with that, but I think that not everybody's energetic right away, right? So it's almost like marrying up when you do have the most energy or when you can pay the most attention to stuff when, yeah. you know, and trying to marry that up. So I, I mean, I agree with that approach. I just think like I'm a night person. So I yeah. do a lot of stuff at night. Um, right. Like when everybody else is asleep, I am still up doing stuff. And that's when I'm most creative. And that's when yeah. I'm Like, I like to cut my hair when it's in the middle of the night. Like I like to do stuff and, uh, you know, so it's finding that kind of niche for yourself. Cause I, if I tried to do something, like if I tried to work out first thing in the morning, I've tried it a billion times. I have no energy at all. Like I got to do it later. So, yeah, I think that that's, yeah, that that's the key is that when you have the energy or when you're the most effective, do the things you don't want to do the most Yeah, first so then you can enjoy it like there's that caveat in front of it that like whatever time because me waking I mean me waking up at four o'clock in the morning is not gonna happen right now (laughs) like you know um but we're waking up at seven o'clock that's good you know so that I got up at eight after nine this morning (laughs) yeah I mean it totally like (laughs) being able to know our own body and our own what we need and So to be able to do the thing, and my husband lives by that a lot. So he's like, let's just get it done. Yeah. But there's also like, I see in me, and this might be a human design thing, but I, I love when there's something to look forward to. So like the completion of something means that it's done. Yeah. And like, he loves that it's done. Like, don't need to think about it anymore. It's taking up too much space in my brain. And I'm like, I love that in my brain. Like, I love all the things in my brain, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't cause me stress. It brings me joy. Well, that's good. So, like with that, you know, too, it's just, it's such an interesting thing of getting things done. It is. Because I do, I do love checking off the three things a day. But when it comes to like the 70 things that are going on in there or more, then it's not. Well, I have to think like, how often do I actually have something I'm working on that I can finish in one day? Mm -hmm. You know, that's, I think that's the thing that kind of will drag you down a little bit is that, you know, I have some things here and there, but most of the stuff I'm doing is like a longer term thing. So it just feels like you're never getting to the end. And I think maybe that's like, doing something to celebrate it at the end so that it can keep your attention and maybe keep the momentum going. Yeah. Like that's why we, I use the word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why we have these hours. Yes. Perfect <laughs> plug <laughs> for both momentum and OP. Awesome. Okay. Well, it is 10 after 11 after now. So um, we will see you at 10 two and Steph, if you're still Stephanie, if you're still sleeping, we're going to hold the space for that too. I'm going to set the alarm. I will be okay. back. Okay. So we'll see you at 10 to 
Bye, y'all.